I've been really trying to focus lately on my cable management for my drones. As you start adding new features, new inputs into your drone, it becomes really important to figure out how to manage your cables and not just leave wires hanging around. So as you can see in this picture, I'm gonna flash up on the screen. My cable management has been terrible in the past. Uh, that was my PixHawk, my original PixHawk that was on this drone. And now that I've moved to the PixHawk 4, and if you haven't seen my video on how I set this up, uh, I'll leave a link in the description, but I've set this new PixHawk 4 up and I really wanna make my cable management better. And to do this, I've decided to use what's called braided sleeving. Now, braided sleeving has been around for a very long time and it's nothing new in the drone building world but I just recently picked it up and recently started using it. Now you can pick this stuff up anywhere. I'll leave a link to Amazon's. Um, that's where I got mine in the description below if you're interested in picking some up. And you can get all different colors. And you cut it to the lengths you need, put a little heat on the end of it with a lighter to make sure the ends don't ever fray. And then you can use a little heat shrink after that when you've got your cables ran through it to make it even neater. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little demonstration on how I set up my receiver because I haven't done it yet. So let's get to it. So here's what it's looking like right now. I have a telemetry port that I'm using the Yapu telemetry. And if you, again, I have videos on how you use this with your free sky and smart port receiver to get telemetry onto your radios and you should check that out because it's really sweet. But anyway, so basically both of these wires are going to my receiver down here, one in the back and one in the front. But they're just hanging out here all willy nilly and they really need to look cleaner and neater. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is get yourself a little piece of braided sleeve and you're gonna to wanna to measure it and cut it obviously to about the length, but not the entire length because you're gonna put a little shrink wrap on the end of this as well to keep it from fraying. And then you press in, well actually first you do want to burn the ends of this a little so that doesn't fray. And then you're gonna to wanna to compress this As you push in, you have to slowly feed the wires in. There. So there's the first, and then we're also going to feed this one in. Okay, so it'll take a second to get that in there. But once it is in, you are good to put the shrink wrap on either side. Okay, from here, we just need to have a little blow torch. Heat up the heat shrink with. Just like that. Turned out pretty good. Let's see what it looks like on the drone. But before I do that, I'm going to, just cause I have a little OCD here, I'm gonna put a little foam pad there. Perfect. Now if I was extremely OCD, I would have cut this cable and made it shorter um, for my S bus, but I'm not quite that OCD. However, I probably will fold this up and put a little hot glue on it or something to, to hold it there. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna get this mounted up. I've got my double-sided sticky tape foam pad on here. 
one right like that. I'm gonna run my two wires. I got my telemetry port. I'm gonna go to telem one there, and then my S bus is going to be over here. Looks a little more slick, in my opinion, than if I just had right, you know, cab cables hanging out everywhere. And I'm also gonna show you guys what I've done underneath because I've used the same kind of braided sleeve coming up. These right here are my power wires that run to my ESC. That goes underneath and then out into the arms for each individual arm. So you got one, two, and then three or four over on the other side. And honestly, I've kind of liked having this power distribution board under here because it's kept all my wires nice and nice and neat but i think running these wires like i have have really made my cable management much better all right if you guys like the video hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe i'll give you more tips and tricks on how to build some drones especially these large drones i'm really into right now the pixhawk pixhawk 4 if you want to see more check out my channel